I'm excited. <laughs> Welcome back to Horizon Shine, and thanks for waking up with us. Everyone could use some help in the kitchen, oh, like yeah. I said, especially mm -hmm. me. Yes, and we have Arthur Bovino of DailyMeal.com, and he has some helpful hacks to make chicken chicken kitchen chores <laughs> a whole lot well, easier. Can, can we make chicken? Chicken, chicken. Yeah. right? Yeah. Chicken, yeah, everything. Listen, everybody needs a little help in the kitchen, right? Yeah. So uh, hacks are what? The application of ingenuity. Clever, out-of-the-box thinking. We've got some fun hacks here today. Um, I love that. You call them hacks too. Yeah, That's exactly. The, the right. Um, so, let's say you've got uh, you've got some hungry people over coming for breakfast. You want to start uh, you want to start something cool for them. You've got your waffle iron going. You've got some leftover cinnamon rolls. Mm -hmm. You know those rolls that are just from the grocery store. Okay. Leftover. Leftover. Right. Stick them into your your waffle iron. Oh, wow. Start to hear that sizzle. Yeah. And then we're just gonna. Leave that there for a couple of minutes and do a couple of other things because we had a multitask yeah, right? yeah, when we work yeah, in the okay. kitchen here. Yeah. So uh, we've got some bacon here. Now listen, I'm not saying that this is necessarily the way everybody should be cooking bacon all the time, <laughs> but it works if you take your tin foil. You okay, don't want to get going on the stove. Already. Let's say maybe you're in a hotel or you're a student at going to college yeah. and you've got your iron, so you get your <laughs> bacon here. Oh, wow. Are you <laughs> Let's take our tin foil. Oh. oh, that looks like that sounds like it's supposed to be ready. There we oh, go. Wow, smells so oh, good. Let's no. these guys a little bit longer. longer. You, you're getting the jump on me here. <laughs> Sean's just hungry. That's I'm all hungry. I hear. Always. So, here we go. You hear this? Oh, oh yeah. Can you can hear, hear the sizzle. Can we get the sizzle? I'm gonna bend down so you can get it. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you know, go even here. Make sure you get uh, all parts of it evenly. Nice. Wow. Can I peep? Look at that. You would have never thought to just. You see, the bacon's already starting to cook yeah. there. So, how long do you have to do this, though, before you know? Because you well, cannot eat raw bacon. Totally. But, you know, I mean, as I said, we're multitasking here, so we can, mm. we can set this down for a minute. Yeah. And then we can move it along after another minute so we could go on to other things. Okay. okay and um, while you're doing it, you know, tell us about the dailymeal.com. Yeah, so the dailymeal.com launched about four and a half years ago. Uh, we're all things food and drink, so. We talk about travel through the lens of food. We talk about entertaining through food. We talk about uh, wine, beverages, Coca-Cola, you know, all kinds of sodas and coffees and teas. And we have hacks, we've got recipes, we've got tips for traveling. So, you know, we'll do lists of nice. uh, the best restaurants in the country, the okay. best pizza places, chefs and restaurateurs turning the tables on restaurant critics, a whole, everything that you could possibly imagine food and drink, we do yeah. it. Nice, okay. Nice. So we got our bacon so going here while, while I'm <laughs> yeah. talking. So the bacon's so burning. Oh, it's burning? How no, do you know? No. Oh, I like my crispy, though. It's starting to get crispy? It's, it yeah. is, yeah. I like my... That's my mom would probably kill We're talking, right? I mean, I'm not even doing anything right exactly. now. Exactly. So, who are, the actually, who are the people who would actually benefit from this? Is it just guys? I know there are some women who cannot cook There like are that. some women Listen, who can't. If, if, <laughs> sure. I mean, you know, at home you could be doing this, but I think this is kind of like a, an on-the-road or... Uh, in an emergency kind of a situation, yeah. right? I mean, if you're a college or you're student, or well, or if you're lazy, <laughs> yeah, if right. you're lazy. Um, yeah, I mean, these are these are good dorm room cooking hacks too. Yeah. Um, so another thing that happens is you know, you've got those eggs. They're sitting in the fridge. Uh -huh. You don't remember how long you how long ago you got them. Yeah. Was it two <sighs> weeks ago? Was it three months ago? I don't remember. Okay, I didn't even know that eggs expire. First of all, that's how <laughs> trifling I am. See, this you, is for you. Yeah, I'm telling this you, is totally this is for all you. for me. <laughs> you will smell it. If you crack an egg that's spoiled, you will smell it. Really? Don't worry about it. Yeah. But yeah. there's a difference between an egg that's completely spoiled and something that maybe not. White is fresh yeah. also, so we have uh, some eggs here. Okay, let's just okay. start. And uh, some of these so are, are newer these? than others. Oh, okay. Um, so let's see what happens. Basically, you can tell because eggs are porous, right? Yeah, the shells aren't, them? you can, the air can actually escape, go into them, and the liquid can actually evaporate out of them. Yeah. So what, so if air goes into the eggs, you know that they've been around for a little okay. while, right? Okay, so what do so we do? So why don't you take one of the white eggs okay. and drop them in there, gently. Oh, uh, look, we see. <laughs> <laughs> and then let's, Take the brown egg and drop that guy in there. Oh gosh, my hands are ashy too. Don't so you can it. see, <laughs> you can see that the white egg, right? It's it's pretty much laying flat. Yeah. Now, the, but the brown egg, it's starting to tilt up a little bit. So you can see that oh. this one's the fresh, fresher one. This wow. one, it's okay. I mean, yeah. I'm not saying not you, you couldn't eat it, but you know that if you're trying to make that distinction, okay. those guys have been Let's in there Let's show longer. us a cappuccino yes, quickly. quickly right. please, because yeah. I need to learn how to make these. I want to I wanna be fancy at home. All right, so you can see the bacon's <laughs> getting nice yeah. and brown. Oh, wow. All right, so you don't want to go do the fancy, you want to do the fancy uh, espresso thing at home. 
Let's let's just give this guy a shake. Okay. Shake that guy Sh as hard as shake you can. Shake it like a song. Shake it like a song. Come on. We got to prepare our dance segment. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I'm shaking a little bit. I'm shaking a little bit. Shook it off. I'm shaking, I'm shaking everything off. You're shaking all of your stuff off. So we're going okay. to keep, keep shaking well, a little bit. Yeah, come, come on. on. Get in there. Yeah, there yeah, we go. Shake it like you know how to shake yeah. it. <laughs> all right, so let's take a look. So now oh, what we're going to do, we've started to get it. Foamy, right? Yeah. Yeah. So now we're going to take it and put it in the microwave. All right. Carry on ironing this bacon. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I didn't know I was getting an assistant today. You know what? I don't want to smell like bacon, though. That's one thing I don't like. Oh, now look at, oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. Mm. We get our, our I icing can't wait over to try here. This. What kind of icing is that? It's just a sugar frosting. Okay. And you can. Loosen this up some more by putting it in the microwave also. Okay. So, how is that going to look? I'm always curious to see that. Did that just die down? Did I not shake it enough? No, no, no. We'll just <laughs> give it an extra shake at the end here. Okay. See, I'm a, I'm a barista too, so. Oh, yeah. I know, I know a little something about cappuccinos, but I don't know how to make it like this. All right, here we go. Now we got our foam. We're gonna have a little sweetness action going on here, I guess. Never hurt anybody. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at that, you got the okay. phone. You got a little fancy. A little fancy. <laughs> nice, nice. And then lastly, we have some baking powder here. Okay, okay real so now, quick. We're gonna do that really quickly. You've Let's got that in the back of your fridge. Yeah. You don't know if it's good or not. Quick way to do it, just to see if you get a reaction. Pour some of this in here. Oh, looks like it may be a little old because you're oh, not getting okay. any kind of reaction. Wow. You want to actually okay. have some kind of fizzing going on. Okay. Might be time to like, get a new box of that. Cool. We're going to try it. Thank We're going to try it at home. I'm going to try it all of this. Yeah. Especially this bacon pot. Because <laughs> you know what I hate? When bacon splashes all over on your stove. Yes. And you got to clean it up afterwards. <laughs> all right. Thanks so much, Arthur. And for more helpful hints you can uh, on this, you can be sure to check out thedailymeal.com. Now, coming up next, Rather Blank was born to entertain. And as a writer, performer, and a comedian who loves hip hop, like no other, she certainly does not disappoint. Stick around for this funny lady because you don't want to miss her. Keep watching Arise and Shine. I want to try this. That's <laughs>